Hey Libra, we back with another reading. So let's get into it. See what's the vibe. See what's fair happy at this time. I see you guys much for the night. I hope you guys are doing well. I also hope that that noise in the background is not extremely loud. But let's see. Uh, Spirit, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, right Venus, North Node, all Libra places. Just the overall energy. Kind of this message here for Libra at this time. We have reach out. Reach out and touch someone. Someone wants to reach out to you, okay? Um... Let's see what's going on with that. Spirit, give me one more. Reach out. Who wants to reach out? I am manifesting you. So this is someone that is manifesting you. They want to reach out. Look at that. This love scares me. 11. Also, 1. 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. And you could be seeing that a lot. But let's get into it and find out who wants to reach out. Who's manifesting you at this time, Libra. Let's see. All right, Libra. So let's let's first start off with the hidden truth here. When it comes to this person um, that wants to reach out, that's manifesting you, Spur. What is the hidden truth here in regards to this overall energy? I know. I don't know how to feel. So this person here, maybe they don't know how to feel. So um, they're hiding that. What's this? I don't know how to feel. <clears throat> I do love you. So maybe this person has feelings for you. They love you, but maybe they don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> it's like, I feel this way, but I don't know how to feel. Um Maybe let's find out why they don't know how to feel though. And why is that? Why is that hidden? It's also hidden that this person does love you. So why don't they know how to feel? Kisses the runner. Maybe this is someone who ran from you. This is also someone that wants to run towards you for some kisses. Okay. Um, so again, it's like, I do love you. I want to come rushing in towards you. I want to kiss you. I want to reach out to you. I am manifesting you. Um, maybe this person is like, oh, I don't know how to feel because I don't want to come across as codependent. I also, this person could be listening to their ego, okay? Especially if it's a masculine energy here. Um, listening to their ego. They also could have a fear of intimacy. So it's like... Uh, but they do know that they love you. But that's also hidden. <laughs> so let's see. Spread, spill the tea on this person. What is the message here in regards to this overall energy? We have temperance. So this person could be trying to be patient. Okay. Six of Pentacles, are they going through it? It's like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hyde. Also, Mr. Hyde. It's a masculine. Look, love getaway. They they could want to love getaway with you. They're Mr. Hyde. They're hiding their feelings. They're hiding that they love you. They're hiding that they don't know how to feel about this. Also, someone could be like uh, falling in love with someone here. It's also... Tell me more about Mr. Hyde. The star. So this person could definitely, <clears throat> they they need to work on their throat chakra for sure. They also could want to heal things with you. Five of Pentacles, they could also feel left out. Also, this person is like hiding that they do love you. You could be like shining really bright here. You have this like, you could also have a Aquarius rising here. Tell me more about Mr. Hyde. For someone, Mr. Hyde could literally be an Aquarius masculine. Six of Swords. There's the communication. Uh, they may want to come talk to you about a romantic getaway for someone here. Uh, or they're just kind of thinking about this in the future here. Spirit, what's going on with this love getaway? Knight of Swords is like, look at this person flying towards you, flying towards this love getaway. This could be a Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but again, 
they want to also communicate about a love getaway for someone. It's like, would you get away with me? Two of cups. So it's like this person definitely feels like this is a mutual attraction. This person could also just want to like meet up with you, go out for drinks, okay? See you, be near you, look you in your eyes, all right? It's definitely two of cups is all about love. For someone here, they may be like feeling really negative about something. They could also be watching something here that's kind of like, look at his face. <laughs> Whatever they're watching and seeing is kind of like maybe making them think a, a little negative or maybe they feel like, Again, it's like they could just be at work looking at whatever they're doing uh, in a negative way. They could just be in that type of energy here. Four cups, right? Because it's like they're sad. This person is like, even if they are like at a party or something, or for someone this may happen, like this person may be at some type of party, get together, some type of social event, but they're just in the four of cups about communicating with you. So it's like this person could also constantly think about you. What's the temperance energy? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like this person wants to move fast, okay? Um, it's like they're trying to have patience. They could also just want to like, Spirit, what's this moving moving fast here? Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's like they're suffering internally. It's like they're damn near dying. They're damn near like, their emotions is just like, it's like they're internally suffering and dying. <laughs> it's like they have these feelings. They don't know how to really feel about it. So that could also be another th uh, reason that they hide it. Um, it's like, I need to hide this because I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Clarify the two of cups. Let me introduce you to Mr. Hyde, okay? Nine of swords and the sun in reverse. So there's also some significance to where this person could actually like stay up in their head about you. They're not really happy. Um, there's also this energy of if you kind of like took the sunshine of, out of their life in some type of way for someone, it's like maybe they can't really sleep. Um, a lot of mental activity going on at night in regards to you as well. That could simply just uh, what that is, right? That could be what that is where it's like it's nighttime, right? The sun is like down. So it's like when the sun goes down, this person really kind of like uh, gets into their feelings here. Also, that sun in reverse is kind of coming out across like um, just not being revealed, right? Like it being in the dark. <laughs> so again, it's like Mr. Hyde is definitely like hiding that they love you. They... It's not, it's in the dark. It's definitely coming from the masculine energy. Also, uh, feminine, for someone here, maybe you guys are currently in this energy of kind of like healing and um, you could be working on something here as well. Maybe you're just like working, focused on that. Meditating, relaxing. And they're over there like, mine, mine, uh, mine, mine. Uh, definitely for three energies, for sure, that's here, okay? Um, there's also, uh, for someone here, this could actually be uh, an earth sign energy. For someone here, this could be someone that you're not in a relationship with that's feeling this way. They're definitely trying to manifest. Or give me uh, some, I am manifesting you. What's going on with that? Crown chakra download. So maybe for you, you may have received some type of crown chakra downloads that someone is trying to manifest you. Also for someone here, give me one for the crown chakra downloads. 
Yeah, it's like for you not to leave. This person does not want you to leave. Where are you going? Ugh. Literally, for someone, they, they probably feel that way. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Someone is saying. This person could be like trying to manifest you thinking of them. Honestly, it's more so like I'm thinking about you. Um, you're not aware of I, the fact that I love you. I'm thinking about you and I'm kind of manifesting you because maybe you are thinking about them too for someone. So it's like that type of thing. Uh, Spur, give me one more for I am manifesting you. Social media. So there's definitely a significance to social media. Um, YouTube, heavy on the Instagram. Uh, Y'all see the Instagram thing there. But... This could be someone here that is like at night, maybe they look at your Instagram. Um, this is also someone who maybe there is this energy of like being on social media at night for someone. Working on social media at night. All right, let's see. For some reason, you guys seem to be so involved in here. Spur, why are they hiding that they do love Libra? Old school vibes. <laughs> so that kind of makes me feel like maybe this is someone who is still like, uh, kind of operates in a way of like old school, back in the day type of energy. Um, it's also kind of making me feel that someone could be like in love with you based off of your vibes and your old school energy you probably uh maybe you have like an old soul it's kind of makes me feel this way also this person could be hiding this it's like they may eventually like want to let you know this there's also some significance to like for someone grieving Maybe this person is just hiding it because maybe they don't want to end up regretting it or losing you. Maybe someone feels like if they say that shit, they would lose you. This is also someone who kind of like definitely like wants to do like some type of pop up. Maybe even with a love romantic getaway. This person also will be coming towards you because they don't want to be like they don't want to lose you anything else reach out for it humble so work hard stay humble so maybe this is a very hard working person also someone that's very humble this person could also just like want to reach out because they want you to stay they could want to work on uh whatever is going on with you guys if there is something going on this person also is like really ready to rush and run towards you like for some kisses um maybe for someone here for a feminine maybe you don't know how to feel about uh someone and it could be like There's also like someone who definitely is not prideful and not arrogant. Also, love isn't prideful. Love isn't boastful, all those things. So maybe that also is confirmation that Mr. Hyde is in love. <laughs> False accusations, not guilty. So for someone here, maybe you kind of were accusing this person of something that uh, they feel like they're not guilty of. Um... Maybe you accuse someone of playing games with you and they feel like they're not. For someone here, maybe you were like accusing someone of something here with a karmic energy that maybe they feel like is false. This person is going to contact you. This person is may also kind of like contact you and tell you how they really feel here. It's like no mask, okay? Also, this person may have, like, changed the way that they were thinking, right? Because <clears throat> it's like, why were they hiding it old school? 
So again, with the outdated ways of thinking, but it's in reverse. So this person possibly is like working on their ways of thinking. It's like, it's outdated. It's also like not helping. Also look at him. Look at Mr. Hyde. <laughs> So, this person may definitely, they could feel that they're sorry. They're sorry for hurting you if they hurt you in some type of way. Um, maybe for someone here, they could feel that they kind of hurt you by maybe being uh, a little, how can I say? Uh, right, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hot is like nice and then, or, or hot and cold type of thing. So, for someone, thank you, Spirit. For someone, maybe there was like some type of hot and cold energy going on that they could be sorry for and then wine and dine you. So this person definitely wants to wine and dine you. They don't want to lose you. They also want a romantic uh, love getaway here. So they're manifesting you. Spirit, what is their advice uh, today? Here's somebody. Spirit, what is their advice about this person manifesting them? Someone could actually be manifesting you to reach out to them, but engagement. Also, again, that energy like popping, it was making me think of pop the question. So definitely significance to that for someone here. But that's like a future thing. Um, it, it could also just symbolize like being in a partnership with this person as well. Um, also engaging with you here. So... And for someone, there could be in the distant future a love getaway where someone pops the question, they ask you to marry them. There's wine, there's a lot of conversation. Uh, I don't want you to leave type of thing. All right, so what about this outdated ways of thinking that they're working on? Clock cook. So honestly, maybe patience is necessary also in time. Also, there will be some progress here in regards to that. You guys could also uh, not be open to communicating with this person. And then, and then again, Mr. Hyde said he just going to keep popping out. <laughs> also, this person here, again, it's like just not showing their true feelings here. And they're suffering internally. So maybe Mr. Hyde. Okay, what's Mr. Hyde's next move? Photograph. So yeah, their next move is to look at your pictures, to miss you, to be nostalgic. Also, to think about all these new memories and stuff that they want to make with you. But uh, they may not do anything. They may just spend their time on your social media, looking at your pictures, just missing you, feeling very nostalgic. Also for someone here, um, in the near future, you could definitely have someone that come towards you and ask you out um, on a date for dinner. Um, there's also uh, some significance to someone here. Someone may show you some type of picture of an old car. Um, it also just kind of making me feel like engaging you in that way for conversation there there's something significant about maybe you love old cars so tower responsibly take what resonates leave what does not on this table y'all know this is general if you would like to book a personal my emails in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one